All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today we're going to be talking about Adept and XQC. Now, this is a story that I already first did a video on a few weeks ago at this point, And I thought that was going to be pretty much the end of it. I think anyone with like a normal brain thought that was going to be the end of it. That's why I waited so long to kind of like really cover everything at once, right? Like, yeah, this is everything that happened. This is the outcome, but... Unfortunately, gold diggers will be gold diggers, right? They will just keep on mining, they'll keep on picking, they'll just keep on sifting through anything they can just to find them a little old hunk of gold, right? So if you're unfamiliar with this situation, streamer XQC was formerly in a relationship with a female streamer by the name of Adept, okay? Now, Adept had sued XQC and had alleged all of these insane, horrible, wild things against him, right? Some of the allegations included things like sexual battery and basically theft and all kinds of just like crazy, ridiculous shit. I mean, she literally went in this lawsuit trying to make it out like XQC was like this evil, just psychotic demon, basically, right? Now, this all went through court. This whole process happened and everything went down and it turned out that well, obviously, Adept's claims had no legal standing whatsoever. She was basically, in legal definitions here, making shit up, okay? Now, XQC provided all the proof that he needed to to show that she was a fucking liar. I mean, for instance, she claims like the XQC wouldn't leave her alone and he just kept violating this restraining order she had against him. But then she and her mom showed up to and basically broke into XQC's house. She literally did the shit on stream like trying to knock in his fucking door while he's literally on stream live on air and shit, right? Like, this woman is a legitimate just fucking lunatic. I mean, I'm just gonna call it for what it is here. I, we're not even gonna get that deep in the video. This is simply just a bad person, okay? This is somebody who has just been trying to legally take advantage of the courts because she's a woman and she feels like she's entitled to something. She feels like she's owed something by the courts. It's really just the lamest possible shit, and she lost really bad the first time around, but unfortunately she has decided to sue XQC again for more millions upon millions of dollars over more continued lies and bullshit, okay? So, Twitch streamer XQC is subject to another lawsuit filed by his ex-girlfriend and fellow streamer Adept, this time in the state of California. This suit seeks potentially millions in damages and includes allegations of abuse not featured in the previous lawsuit filed in Texas. Although, much of the lawsuit repeats claims made in the Texas filing, which was eventually dismissed by the judge, there are also claims of domestic violence that were not made previously. Adept, real name Samantha, alleges that XQC, quote, smashed her face into his shoulder, resulting in a police response and the issuance of an emergency protective order. The suit also restates the claim of sexual battery, which was made in the Texas filing. Adept also accuses XQC of using his cult-like following to attack her, and even mentions the use of the term whale, which his fans often use to refer to her. XQC's editors are also accused of being complicit in this targeted harassment due to the clipping and uploading of stream segments using titles on YouTube that she alleges are defamatory. Okay, so obviously she's just kind of repeating a lot of the same bullshit that's already been dismissed, but apparently there's some new allegations that are being made in this entire thing. Now look, obviously I've covered a lot of like allegations and crazy wacky news stories that involve creators and streamers and whatnot, but I have to say I pretty much immediately disregard any allegations made by Adept. And it's not just because like, oh, you don't believe, you don't believe that this woman was assaulted or anything like that. It has nothing to do with that. It's the fact that this woman is a vindictive fucking liar who has been spending the last many months trying her best to ruin XQC's life. I mean, all of the evidence needed to prove that this is a psychotic bitch with literally no understanding of the legal process and just simply wanting a paycheck and wanting to ruin a man who doesn't want her anymore, right? All of the proof is out there on the table. It's literally already been laid out in court. In fact, that is the reason why all of these bullshit allegations that she's been making up against XQC to try and ruin his life were ignored in the previous court because everybody with a fucking brain 
can see that this bitch is just clearly lying. You know what I mean? Like, it really doesn't take a fucking rocket scientist to break this down. Like, you know, she acts like she was so afraid for her physical safety. XQC was this big, horrible threat who abused her so bad physically and sexually that she apparently had to get a restraining order against the guy. But then at the same time, she was so not scared of this fucking horrible monster XQC that she and her mother broke into his house to fucking harass him and screw with him, right? Now, I don't know about you guys, right, but if I felt like my life was in jeopardy and my safety was really in danger, I'm not breaking into the fucking threat's house and trying to screw with them. I don't know, you know? Just a very coincidental thing to happen there, right, for this poor, affected, bruised woman, you know? And it's actually kind of sad, right, because people like Adept actually don't get the hate that they deserved. Like, oh my god, they're calling her a whale, they're calling her fat. Honestly, I don't think people are taking it far enough. She should be called a gold-digging fucking asshole and a fucking scumbag. She should be shamed, you know what I mean, for what she's doing. Like, the worst you're having to deal with, I guess, here is being called fat, which is something that, like, half the population has probably dealt with in their lives. You're falsifying claims of abuse and violence and shit against a man so you can try and get back at him and steal his hard-earned money because you weren't enough of a crotch goblin to begin with, you know? You weren't able to fucking siphon up enough of his goods the first time around, you know what I mean? And just to, like, really highlight how bad this fucking spiral has been from this conniving dum-dum, she goes on stream a couple days ago on, like, TikTok Live or some bullshit, because that shows you, like, how serious she is, right? And talks about she's gonna start doing OnlyFans content with big streamers. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think any of the big streamers want your ass. And I'm not even trying to be mean, I don't think it's just because you're a conniving, gold-digging fucking liar. I think it's also because of, you know, the fact that apparently everybody calls you a fucking whale. Like I said, you know, in normal circumstances, I wouldn't be defending people, like, shitting on people like this and whatnot, but I mean, when you do what she's doing, you kinda just walk yourself into the situation. Like, you think that you're entitled to just go around fucking with other people and trying to ruin their lives and fucking take their shit and grift their money out of their pocket because you're not talented and you're not special, but you think that everybody also at the same time has to be nice to you, go fuck yourself. Like, actually, go fuck yourself. Now, the craziest part about all of this is even really the fact that even though this has already been to court and whatnot, right, it's kind of crazy to think that if you're a conniving asshole like this, you can just basically infinitely petition the courts because obviously here in the United States, our legal justice system is set up to like protect people. You know, you have constitutional rights. There's the possibility of like false convictions. So like the courts, they try to grant leniency because, you know, maybe the court makes a mistake right? And you need to move it to another court to get the right ruling or whatever. But unfortunately, you just have just greedy pieces of shit like this who siphon up the court's resources and time that could be used on legitimate problems with actual conflicts in society so they can try to commit legal robbery against people in revenge. I mean, that's just the wildest part. Like, when you really look at what Adept is doing here, she's literally just doing it all out of spite, and she's doing it all as like a vindictive way to seek revenge, you know? Adept doesn't actually think she was abused. She doesn't think she's actually entitled to anything. She's, in fact, already been dismissed by a judge before with all, most of these allegations that have been made. But she thinks that, I don't know, because she's a woman or because she doesn't like XQC, I really don't know, but she thinks that just because of something, she is entitled to be a leech on society. She is entitled to just be the biggest piece of shit imaginable. I mean, it's to the point where I don't even understand how this person has fans. Like, I don't understand how she's even considered a live streamer, right? Like, I would imagine this is somebody who 95% of their chat is just people calling them names and saying that they're a fucking loser. Because, I mean, honestly, sorry, but if the shoe fits, you gotta wear that motherfucker. Maybe you shouldn't be a scumbag. Maybe you shouldn't be conniving. Maybe you shouldn't be vindictive. Maybe then you wouldn't be getting called a whale by every third, fourth, and fifth Tom on the internet, right? And it goes to prove and show perfectly just what kind of person she is that instead of just, you know, hitting the work hard on this streaming shit and whatnot, right? She just wants to try and cash out quick on OnlyFans because she has no integrity. She has no morality. And I'm not saying this goes for all OnlyFans people because I know a lot of people are just doing it for money or whatever, but she literally just sees that as an opportunity to leech and gold dig and connive even more. She's not a good streamer. She's not funny. She's not entertaining. She's not good at video games. 
She thinks she's better than working at McDonald's where she belongs or whatever. So she's willing to get her snatch pounded out by other streamers on OnlyFans for a quick buck. But as someone who pretends to have all this like high ground, you know, all this morality and deserves all this shit in the courts, she doesn't seem to understand that that is realistically more of a liability to her case than she really thinks. Like how many judges do you think are gonna look, okay, well, all of these claims have already been previously dismissed. She has no real evidence for any of this shit. She's obviously lying and vindictive for no fucking reason. Uh, and her, I guess, get out of jail free card plan when this all fails is to become an OnlyFans model for the bottom of the barrel customers who, you know, want to jack off to it. Maybe we should give this woman some money. I, I, I don't see that happening. You know what I mean? I just don't see that happening. Welcome back to reality, you know? Sorry that that bell's a little loud. Welcome back to reality here. It's just the lamest shit possible. You know what I mean? I like, I, I've never seen somebody who's like, oh, I wonder why nobody likes me. I wonder why everybody hates me and shits on me and calls me names and shit. And then they behave like this as if they're not just openly inviting it. And that's the craziest thing, like, she's bringing new allegations to the table, right? Like, she's accusing XQC of completely new shit that apparently wasn't in the last court. But even then, I pretty much immediately don't believe her and disregard it entirely. And it's because she's just a known fucking liar. And it's really disgusting, too, because, like, while there's women like this who are very obviously falsifying allegations very obviously falsifying abuse and like trivializing it, trying to profit off of it like a bunch of greedy little fucking goblins, right? There is unfortunately real women out there who are getting the shit knocked out of them by their boyfriends or are being sexually abused by people in positions of power and shit like that, right? These are real problems and these are real vile fucking crimes that actually take place. And while they're taking place, and a lot of women are afraid to fucking come out and talk about it because they feel like no one's going to believe them, or they feel like, you know, they're going to ruin someone, anything, right? Whatever reason. While all that's happening, once again, you have these fucking goblins like this that are willing to trivialize it and lie about it to try and profit off of it, and to try and get back at people who don't want them anymore. It's just insane. Like, if this was a guy doing it, you know, he'd be the biggest incel on the planet, he'd be a loser, all this shit, but because some fucking annoying bitch is doing it, it, it just barely makes the news, you know what I mean? Oh, well, uh, Adept is back at it again, everybody. Like, nah, man, more people need to be calling this out and calling this woman a loser because that's what she deserves. So anyway, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at sub to Optimus. Make sure to check out Shoptimus down below. Thank you to my Watch Optimus subscribers. Your support helps the channel tremendously. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus. Well, calling Adept a fucking loser and signing out. And that's a wrap on this video, but big shout out to my Optimus Nation supporters. You guys are the real MVPs. For $10 a month, you get access to loads of exclusive videos videos and archived live streams, my members only Minecraft server where you can possibly appear in gameplay, early access to all new uploads, an invitation to the private discord, and much more.